welcome to electric fun in today's class we are going to discuss about thermistor thermometers this thermistor thermometers generally used for the measurement of temperature in the range of 800 degrees celsius to 1100 degrees celsius especially they are used in the industries like uh, big workshops automobile vehicles electric circuits etc as we have looked at the figures of thermistor these are the different types of thermistors and its shapes the shapes are very small so it is very easy to install this type of devices for measurement of temperature when the thermistors are heated what happens the resistance changes and this change in resistance whatever it is taking place that is used for the measurement of temperature so generally what are the materials used in the preparation of thermistors are oxides of powders which is especially like copper iron uranium nickel so these the materials whatever we are using the oxides of the powders are copper iron uranium and nickel so these are the general materials used for the preparation of thermistors they simply look like a capsule like structure so here you can see the different types of thermistors this is of bit type this is disk type and this is washer type having two led wires through which the temperature to be measured is connected over this particular led wires so in order to explain the working of thermistor ther thermometers we have to have the basic concept of wheatstone bridge so you are already familiar with the concept of wheatstone bridge it consisting of four arms having resistance a b c and d where c is called as adjustable resistor and this is the two terminals where the voltage supply is connected so under normal conditions as soon as you are giving some supply what happens the galvanometer starts deflecting and shows some reading some current value so whenever the bridge has to come into bit balanced condition what you have to do you have to make the galvanometer to show as zero deflection that is current i equals to zero for that condition what we have to do we have to adjust the value of this adjustable resistor c in such a way that the current has to show zero deflection at that condition the bridge is said to be balanced then the equation can be written as a by b equals to c by d so a by b equals to c by d suppose let us take an example as you have to find out the value of unknown resistor d then from this formula what you can write d equals to c into b by a so you are you already know the values of a b and c just substitute those values then you will get the value of the resistor whose value has to be measured that is d equals to something that resistance whatever you are getting that resistance is nothing but the change in resistance which is generally used for the measurement of temperature so here in the diagrammatical representation you can see that it consisting of four or three resistors a b and c c is called as adjustable resistor and the temperature wherever we have to measure that two terminals are connected to the thermistor suppose i have to here as example as d whose resistance has to be found so here the resistor d is connected to the thermistor leds this is acting as a resistance over here now we have to find out the value of this particular thermistor resistor which is nothing but measuring the value of temperature and these two terminals are connected to the voltage so whenever supply is given what happens during that initial conditions the current in the galvanometer starts deflecting or showing some reading so we have to make in such a way that the galvanometer has to show some null deflection what happens the gas or the temperature of any medium whichever to be measured is supplied into this chamber this is a metal container into which the measurement has to be carried out for any sort of medium is supplied in this particular chamber what happens uh, this thermometer this thermometer thermistor will sense the temperature in such a way that the galvanometer will show some deflection so what we have to do now in order to find out the value of this unknown resistor value or the unknown temperature whatever we are measuring we have to use this adjustable resistor and make the galvanometer to be zero deflection that is i equals to zero at that condition the bridge is said to be balanced so what we are doing we are making the current to become nullified that is i equals to zero so we know already the equation that is under balanced condition a by b equals to c by d so what we are doing at the d terminal itself we are connecting the thermistor whose measurement is to be carried out so from this formula d equals to c into b by a so what we are getting the value of d that is nothing but the value of temperature whichever to be measured which is particularly supplied to this thermistor is being measured so what is that that is nothing but the change in value of resistance is generally used for the measurement of 
temperature so here the resistor value whatever it is changing that is indicating the measurement of temperature generally here the resistance will be inversely proportional to temperature that is r is inversely proportional to temperature if resistance is increased temperature will decrease if temperature is decreased resistance will increase so this is about the concept of thermistor thank you and coming to the applications they are having good sensitivity and thermal conductivity can also be found and pressure whose value has to be measured for, for, for flowing fluids can also be found and coming to the advantages as we have seen the structure is very small the cost is also very low and the accuracy is also high so these are the applications and advantages of thermistor thermometers thank you if you like the video please like it share it and comment